Your fork is secured to the frame by what's called a triple tree, which consists of the upper and lower triple clamps. And if the front end takes a hard enough angular hit, the upper and lower triple tree may rotate out of alignment, and that'll swing one fork leg out in front of the other. Even just a few millimeters out of line up here translates to a lot of misalignment down at the axle, and the front wheel may point off toward the edge of the road when the bars are held straight. Luckily, straightening your motorcycle's fork is pretty easy, and I'll show you how to do it on this episode of the Shop Manual. This episode of the Shop Manual is brought to you by Kershaw, my go-to unboxing knife and a tool I carry with me everywhere. Get 25% off your next order at kershawknives.com with the code KNIFE25. The good news is your front end doesn't want to be twisted. So if we loosen the bolts that are holding everything in place, the fork will pretty much straighten itself out. First, put the bike on its center stand or a rear stand so it's upright. Then grab whatever tools you need to loosen the stem nut, triple clamp pinch bolts, front fender or fork guards, brake calipers, axle pinch bolt and axle, plus a torque wrench to tighten everything when you're done. To start with, we need to loosen the top triple clamp nut and that may require removing the handlebars as it does on this CRF. This nut usually takes a lot of force to loosen, so my recommendation is to turn the steering full lock left against the stop so that it's braced. Back the nut off, then spin it back on finger tight. We just want things to be free to move, not floppy loose. Do the same thing for the other fasteners. That's the lower triple clamp bolts, the fender or fork guard bolts, caliper bolts, axle pinch bolts, and axle. Notice I did not list the top triple clamp bolts. Those need to remain tight. After all, something has to support the front of the motorcycle. Another thing you shouldn't touch is the preload collar directly below the top triple clamp. Just leave it be. Now, with everything loose and free to move, we're gonna stroke the front suspension to encourage the fork tubes and triple clamps to shift back into alignment. For this step of the process, it's really important that the bike is upright. So if it's not on a center stand or if you don't have a rear stand, you're gonna need to ask a friend to carefully hold the back of the bike to keep it vertical. At this point, the front end should be straight, but everything is still loose. So with the bike still vertical, we need to start snugging up the fasteners to hold everything in place. If, for whatever reason, the front end is not straight on your bike at this stage of the game, that might be because you actually have a bent component. It could be a fork leg or an axle, so further investigation is needed. But for us, we're gonna start tightening these fasteners and we're going to begin with this top triple clamp nut. Very important to start here because when we loosen that and then stroke the suspension, the top triple clamp rows up under that nut, so there's a slight gap between the top triple clamp and the preload collar. So we're gonna snug that down so that the head bearing and all of the associated components are stacked properly. Again, we're just snugging this thing down, not torquing it just yet, since twisting on it that hard would probably push the front end out of alignment again. Now snug up the lower triple clamp bolts, the fender or fork guard bolts, your calipers, axle and axle pinch bolts to hold everything in place. Then go back over everything once again with a torque wrench and fully tighten the spec. A couple of tips about the lower triple clamp bolts. On most motorcycles, there's going to be two or maybe even three per side. And when you tighten them, you need to go back and forth between the bolts on each side to make sure they're torqued equally. That's because as you tighten down one bolt, the clamp will compress and you will lose tension on the other bolt. Second, don't over tighten them, especially on an upside down aluminum fork. If you over tighten those lower clamp bolts, it'll pinch the tube and it could possibly cause the stanchion to bind when the suspension strokes. The torque on those bolts is usually only about 14 foot pounds, which isn't a lot. And honestly, all of these front end fasteners are important enough that you should really be using a torque wrench to tighten them, even if you have a well calibrated wrist. And with everything torqued properly, you should be good to go. Also, keep in mind that if you think the front end is twisted, but you haven't hit anything or crashed recently, it might actually be your rear wheel alignment that's causing the problem. So check the rear axle and make sure the reference marks on both sides match before blaming the front end. 